Howdy folks and good evening. It's been a while since you've seen my man cave, hasn't it? So, okay, here we go. A very big, a quick tour. I uh, actually got it cleaned up a little bit. Yeah, believe it or not, this is actually cleaned up. I can actually see the mosaic floor now. Couldn't see the floor for the longest time. And this has officially become the oldest vehicle that I own. This is my dad, my late dad's bicycle from the 1940s. So yeah, I got it, uh, new tires on it, uh, new brake pads, new handle grips, and I can ride this bike. Yeah, really. And it cost me 120 ringgit to get new tires and new inner tubes and new brake pads and new handle grips. If only cars were this cheap to restore. That's my Magnavox from uh, 1987. It uh, I got it when I was studying in America. Yeah, look at that the soft clothes cassette player. Yeah, it still works, but I need batteries for it because back then, the voltage in America and the voltage in Malaysia were different. So if I plug this into our sockets, it's going to blow up. So I can only use batteries. So I've got a backup. Check it out. Yes, sir. And this works too. <laughs> So anyway, I gotta turn it off before I get a copyright strike. But this one's got, uh, this one has got a uh, cassette player, dual cassette player as well. What we used to do is actually we could uh, play one and record a dub mix. You could m get, mi you know, your own mix tapes here. Last time, yes, and that clock is working. Thank you, Mercedes Benz. I've had this clock for quite some time now, and it's still working. It's almost 8 p.m. So in the evenings, I actually come in here and uh, try and clean up this place. I know you're all very familiar with my collection of uh, Hot Wheels. As you can see, I still have space for more down, down at the end. There's some new additions um, to the Hot Wheels collection. These three Mercs are new. Yes, that MG is new. Oh yeah. This uh, Bangkok International Motor Show, uh, it's, uh, it's made by Majorette. And it's a Ford Bronco Wild Track. I had to actually remove the uh, roof box. If not, it wouldn't fit into the slot. Yeah, I deboxed the uh, F40, this beautiful F40. And uh, also one more, one more. Oh, that's the uh, Katana, the new Katana that I that I got. There's one more new one. Where's the, where, where is, it's, it's a Golf. Yeah, there we go. That's the uh, VW, what is it? It's a VW something Golf Mark One. Gulf. Yeah. Oh, and that's new too. Thank you, Isaac. Yeah, awesome. So, yeah, that was a birthday present from my little brother, Isaac. So, this is, uh, as you can see, I've kind of stopped uh, buying a lot of uh, Hot Wheels because uh, I actually need the money for my rail cars. <laughs> that's what I keep telling everybody. And, uh, yeah. So, you can pause and check out some of my cars here. But this is uh, this is really awesome. I mean, it's really nice to actually have something to just look at, come in here, admire. Yeah, check it out. It's a Mitsuoka Orochi, the only Mitsuoka that I want. And I wouldn't say no to a Honda CRX either. Ah, lovely, lovely. Actually, yeah. if only a yeah. dream garage. I got another Mitsuoka Orochi here. Check it out. So, what else is new? What else is new? What else have I recently put in? What else have I recently deboxed? Mm, 250 GTO, found at a junk shop. Don't know if you've seen that. But yeah, some nice new ones. But the uh, golf collection is really good. Going well. Yeah. And these, these I found on Shopee. These are really good for bikes if you're into bikes long distance rides helps helps a lot with the comfort and who can tell me what this is <laughs> ASMR sounds you never hear anymore oh I screwed up I gotta start over again you know as wonderful as technology is you'll never know the pleasure of slamming the phone down on somebody <laughs> somehow just pressing the end call button doesn't doesn't do it and uh yeah here's all my other stuff they're really dusty i've got to take them out one by one that's my limited edition millennium uh, testarossa 
unpainted still in the box and uh, sacrifices to the gods of speed have you ever seen a piston degrade this badly yeah it was so bad one of the valves actually fell into the combustion chamber and smashed up the piston hey buddy how's it going so yeah that was a that was a bad day <laughs> but apart from that yeah the collection's doing noise i um i found this recently check that out i don't have many trophies but this was a good one can you read that it says uh, bmw advanced driver training 2002 champion in the time slalom not too shabby eh folks not too shabby yeah and these are all my bangkok motor show pins and that's that's the latest one 44th bangkok motor show right so i just hope i hope you've enjoyed this uh quick tour of uh chris's den and uh, oh check this out those are videotapes of the uh, trilogy star wars empire strikes back and return of the jedi lots of uh, knickknacks and weird weird stuff there's more cars at the back here and uh yeah these are my two bugattis also which i found in a junk shop unbelievable these these have got to be worth quite a pretty penny actually because they're really really old i dare not even pick them up for fear of breaking you know the plastics and stuff like that so just just gonna leave it just gonna leave it and yes i know you all know that i have a collection of weird you know pen knives which uh it's just a uh, i don't carry them with me i just don't know why i've got them uh, just for fun okay yes i'm a collector what can i say thank you for joining me and uh if anything just uh give me a call yeah <laughs> talk about blasts from the past crazy oh yes and i have to tell you about that aventador it's sitting on carbon fiber that they actually use in the actual car it is painted the actual paint that they use on the actual car and it's worth 250 euros or something like that oh, crazy crazy amount of money they gave it to us as a parting gift when we went to drive this in uh, in italy right so that's it just uh, a very quick uh hello yeah i forgot i had you just a quick tour just a quick uh, update on uh, remember when clubs used to have these solid metal this belonged to my dad because he was in the mg club malaysia he used to have an mgtc a long 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 time ago yeah and he was a he was a volunteer reserve policeman too oh my my dad was pretty awesome so okay that's it just a very quick tour a very quick update my man cave is still alive and uh doing well doing well yeah Take care, you all. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.